Hey, District 98, somebody most of you know, running for state representative, Gary Glenn. All right, yeah. Gary. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. <laughs> Right. My name's Gary. <laughs> Glenn. Glenn. Can you see? Can you Glenn. see? It? Glenn. <laughs> Gary, Gary, okay, Gary. Okay, good. Hey, not only do we have some great candidates, but can they communicate the message? Yeah. I've been impressed with that. And for anybody who thought there might have been some conspiracy at work, you may know that when I ran for the U.S. Senate, Cindy Gamrat was my volunteer coordinator. Even Cindy and I did not know that the other was thinking about running for an open seat in the State House of Representatives. So I think the Lord touched a lot of hearts. Somebody told me in here a minute ago they were praying the Lord would lift up people who would simply abide by and promote and be faithful to the Republican platform. And it looks to me like not only has that happened, but people who are actually able to articulate and defend that platform. So I'm excited about this group of candidates. The other thing I want you to remember is something you've already heard once today. A state representative, no matter where they live in Michigan, has as much effect on any bill affecting you and your lives as the one from your district does. So if you are from a district that has a safe Republican background, or if you're in a district where you can't possibly elect a Republican, then you can do two things for those of us who are not in your district. Prayers and campaign contributions can cross right. county lines. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. And we appreciate both. Now, why am I running? If you heard me run when I was running a year ago, you heard this story. All I can do is tell you the truth. I was raised by a Marine who survived Ooh. the attack. On Pearl Harbor. God bless. <laughs> My dad was a Marine who survived the attack on Pearl Harbor. He taught me something fundamental. He taught me to love my country. And I think everything he taught me to love about America, our liberty and our strength and security and our free enterprise system, and yes, our founding Judeo-Christian principles are under attack in such a way that we would never have been able to conceive possible in the United States of America. I feel a sense of duty, the same sense of duty I think you do, to do whatever I can to preserve from my children what I inherited from my father and those who came before him. And we can do that in the State House of Representatives as easily as we can do it in the Congress of the United States. In fact, I put no faith in the Congress of the United States and we need stronger state governments and we need state officials who will exercise their constitutional authority to stand up to Washington and to say no to Washington. And we have proven to America, we have set an example in Michigan in recent years of our ability to lead from our state house. For example, I said to Senator Rand Paul at lunch, Welcome to America's 24th Right to Work State. <laughs> yeah. All right. And let me recognize, if I may, my good friend, the sponsor of the State Right to Work Bill, Representative Mike Shirky from Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. And I appreciate Tom Hooker, and I appreciate Dave Ajima and, ja and Jack Hogendyke. Anyway, write your checks out to Madison Pack. They're going to distribute it to candidates who support the values and the platform of the Republican Party. And then as you candidates stood up here, I was impressed with all of them. Whichever one touched your heart, I liked Jose. <laughs> Where's he running? <laughs> write him a check. Write me a check. Write Cindy, Wendy, all these other folks a check as they moved your heart. God bless you. We're going to fight between now and August to win their, the primary election. And then we're going to make sure we have a strong Republican House come November. And we're going to do a lot more to make Michigan great again. Thanks again. Thank you, Gary.